Good, Good morning, morning Patriots. Patriots. I'm Jaden. And I'm Dylan. And welcome back to the Patriot Press. This week we have weekly news with Amari and Emerson, Guess the Food with Samaje and Kylie, Enoch with Summer Countdown, Jackson and Maje with Man on the Street, Harper and Armani with some cheerleading practice, Dylan with a sports recap, and a fun game show with Jaden. I'm so sad to see all those seniors go. Me too. Graduation is right around the corner. So here's Molly with some updates about senior supplies. Hey guys, it's Molly, and if you're a senior, listen up. Today at lunch, all senior supplies will be delivered, and here's Ms. Kreider giving us some information of what to wear at graduation and what paperwork needs to be done. What do seniors need to wear to graduation? That's a great question. So all of the information about graduation can be found in the senior spotlight. It says exactly what to wear to graduation. So I will read to you from what this says, okay? So ladies, at graduation, you are supposed to wear dresses and dress shoes. That is not flip-flops, that is not tennis shoes, dresses and dress shoes. Gentlemen, what you need to wear is you need to wear khakis, black pants, or navy pants. You need to wear dress shoes, gentlemen. You do not wear tennis shoes. We have tons of dress shoes from ROTC. You show up in tennis shoes, you will change. And gentlemen, you have to wear a light colored button up shirt, so either light blue or white. Gentlemen, you have to wear a tie or a bow tie. You don't show up with a tie or bow tie, I will provide you with a tie and make you put it on. Perfect. And then what do seniors need to do to prepare for? Yeah, so seniors need to make sure that they attend our mandatory graduation practice, which is May 16th, okay? Um, so May 16th, it starts here at JL Man at 845. It starts at 845, which means seniors, you should probably be here by 830 because we're going to get you in your assigned seat. We're going to literally have the gym set up just like the Bon Secours Wellness Arena where we're going to run through graduation. We're going to practice saying your names. I will emphasize that is a mandatory graduation practice. We have been approved by the district that if a senior misses mandatory graduation practice, we are allowed to not let you participate in the ceremony on May 22nd. So if you miss practice, you're not walking on May 22nd at graduation. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ms. Kreider. I hope that was helpful to all you seniors and happy graduation. I wonder what's going on with me this week. Me too. So here's Imani and Emerson with the weekly news. Hey Pats, today I'm going to talk about some special weekly announcements and to Mr. Davis about the Spring Musical. So let's get into it. I'm here with... Mr. Davis. Is there anything you'd like to tell the Pats about the Spring Musical coming up? Sure, it's High School Musical, which I'm sure that almost everyone is familiar with. And this is, we put a unique spin on it this year because it's the first time we've ever had two casts. So we have a cast one and we have a cast two. And that it was a really tremendous effort on our part to try to organize all that and it helps build our program and brings more people hopefully because they can see all their different friends that are in the different casts and so that'll be two weekends because we have two casts and cast one will be april 4th and 5th and cast two will be the 11th and 12th and you can find our posters around the school and scan your qr code and it'll take you to show for you.com and tickets are 12 dollars. great don't forget to come support don't forget to buy your High School Musical tickets. You can access them on the Man Patriot Players Instagram bio. On April 8th, we will be having an e-learning day due to the solar eclipse. Any clubs or sports activities will be held after 4 p.m. Don't forget the Launch Greenville internship application deadline is April 5th. And on April 6th, the military ball will be held from 6 to 10 p.m. Prom tickets are now being sold during all four lunches. If you're bringing a date that doesn't go to man, then make sure to head over to our school website and fill out the prom date Google form. Make sure to mark your calendars for AP Review Day on May 4th and Student Teacher Holiday on April 19th. Thank you for all that information, Emerson and Imani. Now we have Samaje with a funny Guess the Food video. What's up, Pats? I'm Samaje. And I'm Kylie. Today we have some people from track trying different foods. Oh, Are y'all ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm not, man. What are you about? Mm-mm. Let him wait, Yeah. Let him wait. Go. Let him wait. Okay. Let him wait. 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 Let him wait.
That's baby boo. That's baby boo, bro. Oh, no, it's, it's like right, puppy. Okay. Yeah, it's puppy. Okay, but it stink. I don't like the smell of it. Yeah. Okay, bro. I need like six blood mints, bro. Okay, okay. It's starting to heat up a little bit, though. Okay, okay, okay. That's some hot Cheeto puffs. Okay, here we go. Can I got some agua. Can I get water? I got some H2O. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> it's hot. Mm -hmm. It got in the song with this thing. Ew, what am I feeling? Why well, does it feel like this? Who don't, who don't mess with you, bro? Like, it's a banana, ain't it? Because I don't eat those. <laughs> you don't eat bananas, bro? No. <laughs> you sure, man? That is good. Nice, nice and nutritious. <laughs> Thanks, Peyton and Rico. That was real funny, and good luck with the rest of your season. Now back to the studio. That was really funny. Thank you, Rico and Peyton, for participating. Now here's Enoch with a countdown to summer. Hey, Pats. My name is Enoch Jeter, and with the school year coming to an end and summer just around the corner, we'd like to remind you all to finish the year strong by providing testing dates and how to prepare for them. And who am I here with today? Uh, Ms. Wilson. All right, so can you tell me when the EOC is and how to prepare for it? Yes, the EOC is uh, May 10th and also May 15th. Um, the best way to prepare for it is to pay attention in class when we go over specific skills and um, go to the EOC workshops. All right, thank you for the interview. And anyway, we are here today? Mr. Ballinger. So can you tell me when the AP exams are and how to best prepare for them? Yes, uh, AP exams will be between May 6th and May 17th. Uh, I've told my students to start preparing at least two months out, uh, so that gives them, uh, at least for my class, one unit a week to get to that point. Uh, if you try to cram everything in at the last minute, you're going to do way more harm than good. Uh, the, the more you try to cram last minute, you're going to forget more, you're going to be panicked, stressed out. Uh, so try to give yourself as much time as possible, do it in chunks to better prepare. All right, thank you. I hope all this information that helps you all prepare for future events. This is Ian Cheater signing off. Wow, thanks, Enoch. I didn't know summer was coming up so fast. Me neither. Here's Mazay and Jackson with this week's Man on the Street. Hi, Pets. Today I'm going to be interviewing the movie lovers at Man. Let's get into it. Three, two, one, action. I'm here with Pierce Horn. And what was the last movie you watched? And what would you say is your favorite quote from that movie? Uh, the last movie I watched was The Happy Gilmore. And my favorite quote is, Get out of my way or you'll pay by Shooter McGavin. All right. Thank you. I'm here with Zah. And what's the latest movie you watched? Angry Birds. And what do you rate it on the scale of 1 through 10? 10. Thank you. I'm here with Daniela. And what's the last movie you watched? And what do you rate it out of 10? Um, the last movie I watched was with my family. It was Little Mermaid, the new one, and I rated it a good 7 out of 10. All right. Thank you. I'm here with Mrs. Babayan from the Media Center. And what's the latest movie you watched? I watched Men of Courage. All right. And what, what do you rate it on a scale of 1 through 10? I would say it's a 7. All right. Thank you. I'm here with Jimmy Como. And what's the latest movie that you watched? Sharknado. And what do you rate it on a scale of 1 through 10? 4. Alright, thank you. Those sound like some good movies to watch. I'm Jackson of the Patriot Press. Tune in the segment out. Those are some good answers. Today we have Harper and Amari learning some of our cheers from the cheerleaders and me with a weekly sports recap. <laughs> Hey Patriots, the Blue and White has some updates with our spring sports. Girls Lacrosse is 2-7 and seven this season with an upcoming game on April 5th against Providence Day. Baseball is 6-3 and three on the season with an upcoming game against Hillcrest Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Boys Soccer is 9-0 and oh this season with an upcoming game against Hillcrest on April 5th. Girls Soccer is 5-1 and one this season with an upcoming game against Hillcrest on April 5th. Boys Lacrosse is 5-2 and two on the season with an upcoming game on April 5th against Christchurch. 
Softball is 0-3 so far with an upcoming game against Union County on April 4th. Keep going strong, Spring Sports. Hey guys, it's Amari and Harper and today we interviewed a senior cheerleader Anne-Marie Adams. She gave us some information on what it's like to be on the cheer team. Anne-Marie. And what should incoming cheerleaders expect? Um, it's a lot of memorization and a lot of teamwork especially with stunting. Um, just like putting a lot of work in in order to get better is another thing. Requirements for tryouts. So when I tried out we had to learn a dance, a chant, and a cheer and then we had the opportunity to show our tumbling skills and do our jumps. Time commitment look like? So over the summer, it's like two to three practices a week, and we'll also do weightlifting, so it's a pretty big summertime commitment. And then the school year, it's about the same, like two to three practices a week, and then obviously games every single Friday. Okay, today I'm here with Ansley Hughes, and Ansley's going to teach us how to do the Patriot Rumble Cheer. Okay, so you normally start with your hands on your hips like this, and then someone calls it, they're like, everybody! rumble and then you all go everybody do that patriot rumble everybody do that patriot rumble everybody what what rumble what okay my turn everybody do that patriot rumble everybody do that patriot rumble everybody what what rumble thanks Anne marie for that awesome information and good luck to everyone trying out Wow, that looks so fun. Thanks, cheer team, for teaching us those cheers. Now, I know everyone's been looking for another episode of my podcast, but this week we're going to do something special. Here's Jaden with a fun game show. Hey, guys, and welcome to Jailman Challenge. On today's episode, we're not going to be doing a podcast, but we're going to be doing a game show. Introducing first the girls' varsity team, please welcome number five, Mariah. <laughs> also joining her team, number three on the team, please welcome Olivia. <laughs> How do y'all feel about being on this, the first episode of Jailman Challenge? Well, I'm very honored, and I'm ready to crush the other, the other team, so yeah. I feel special, but we go in. And what y'all got to say to y'all, um, the cheerleaders, y'all opponents, uh, what y'all what y'all bring to the table? We, we just go, we win it. So, we gonna yeah. take L, so. Yeah. Now, with that being said, representing the Jailman Varsity Cheer Team, please welcome Bray. <laughs> also joining her team, please welcome Jalen. <laughs> How do y'all feel? How do y'all feel about being on the first episode of Challenge? It feels good. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. I'm ready to crush some <laughs> basketball players. Yeah, what y'all got to say to y'all opponents? Y'all heard that was talking smack over there. Are y'all really winners, though? Let's talk about this last game, though. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, let's get into these trivia questions. First question. How many stars are on the American flag? 50. Is that correct? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so one point for the cheer team, cheer team, cheer team. All right, all right. What year was Jailman founded? 1965. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What woman has won the most Grammys? Adele. I don't, never mind, never mind, I don't know. I think you mean us. No, but yeah, Beyonce. Dude, that's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, good job, good job, good job, good job. All right, all right. Next question. What planet is furthest away from the sun? Venus. <laughs> Give me a second. Jupiter. No, that's wrong. Is we counting Pluto? Huh? Is, is we counting Pluto? Like, I don't know. I don't know what's Pluto. Pluto. Is that a planet? No. Neptune. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. This question, you guys. Don't look at this. It's going to determine who will win episode one of the challenge. Over here, girls cheerleaders. Over here, girls basketball. Who was? No leaning. Don't lean. Mariah. Sixteenth. <laughs> President. <laughs> and really get <laughs> 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 
with y'all winning, how do y'all feel bringing the victory to the girls' basketball team? Okay, so even though we lost in Upper State, but this is like a good win to us. Like we we won something, mm -hmm. like you know, like yeah. Good. We representing the girls' basketball team, so that that brain right there. You yeah. see how I got the question about yep. Beyonce? Like, we are a student athlete and student show <laughs> today. That being said, that's a wrap for Jailman Challenge. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys next week. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And TikTok at thepatriot.press. Go Pats!